hello all we will search for fox p2g in the hcpi portal search uh, when we click in the gene database here uh, then we get back uh, the page of the gene database or uh, we can get inside the gene database from here or otherwise you can go to list of the resource or databases from a to z and uh, select uh, g from here is an g gene database from gene database you can search for fox p2 and here is search here is the gene the also look uh, the genome browser and viewer the blast and download and here is the items uh, that available uh, the number of items and uh, the in, uh, in the description it gives the description of fox p2 giving the full name here is the full name uh, fork uh, head box uh, p2 in hum homo sapiens uh, so what we see is that uh, because we search for only fox p2 uh, then we also get back a hits of fox p2 in uh, many organisms like mass musculus and Retius uh, nervicus and if we click uh, in the hit of fox p2 of human here we get back the gene name gene id number and the update of uh, the page also we have a number of different uh, tabs here you can get uh, the same tabs from the navigation here or you can sliding down in uh, this page and here is the summary in the first the summary this section will give you an, a brief uh, uh, overview of what is pa uh, fox p2 the first thing is the official symbol here is an official symbol and in the uh, in this case the official symbol is fox p2 and uh, this has been generated by the consortium of uh, hgnc uh, the HGNC is standing for Human Genotype uh, Nomenclature Consortium or Committee. And for more information about HGNC, you have to uh, click in this link. Then we get uh, the official full name. Here is an official full name. Uh, the fork head box uh, P2. And here is the primary source. Here is the primary source. And this link back to the primary gene sequence in HGNC. And here is a list uh, of uh, related accession number an accession number of fox p2 gene in other resource here is an ensemble uh, here is a gene type it's a protein coding uh, gene and then tell uh, you if this gene is reviewed in a uh, uh, sequence uh, database then tell what an organism uh, it's homo and lineage and also uh, it give you a a couple of aliases what has this gene also called so there is number of aliases or names have been used for fox p2 as well and then give you a brief uh, summary of what is fox p2 and then also like given here show uh, showing uh, you that their uh, or solo gene has been identified in other organisms now we look in the genomic uh, region transcripts uh, genomic region and products it gives you a graphical representation of FOXP2 the graphical view show where this gene is found in the genome uh, this graphical view is in chromosome number 7 uh, on the human reference sequence 38 here is the horizontal line and horizontal line indicates the intron and the vertical line here the vertical line indicate uh, the exon you see that arrows the arrows indicate to the right uh, direction which indicates this gene is transcribed in the forward this direction and we see here a concentration of exons here in the end and what we see here is somewhat um, evidence from the different database due to alternative splicing in this particular gene so we have different transcripts have been generated from the same genome region which varying in the number of exon the next section is expression and in the expression uh, you have to explore it by yourself 
in the next section is bibliography uh, in the bibliography section it will give you a list of publication and scientific journal here is the article that elucidated uh, the function structure of foxp 2 g and in the phenotype this section is uh, where will tell you uh, if there have been any disease associated with variation in FOXP2 gene. The first thing is that there are an associated condition. In the associated uh, condition section, we see that here uh, a genome wide association study of southern European population identifies the new Crohn disease susceptibility locus. Here is there is uh, uh, association with Crohn disease. And the uh, gene smoking interaction identifies several novel blood pressure and uh, loci associated with NG glycosylation of human immunoglobulin G show pilotropy uh, uh, with autoimmune disease and hematological cancer. And here is uh, the omium uh, database which we uh, talked about it uh, before. So if we click in this link, this number here, it will open up the omium database and give you this particular genetic disorder and you then you identi identify the genetic disorder. Here is an uh, additional uh, information about other clinically relevant variations that have been identified in FOXP2 and the association uh, associated disease. And follow it down, uh, it have been show it uh, if uh, there have been any genome uh, wide association studies that have been done. Uh, this is the section where I linked out the resource with all the variants that have been identified in FOXP2 and then telling you uh, dependent, depending on the resource we're looking at either information about the frequency of different variation in different populations that have been identified and also looking at uh, again the variance has been identified in FOXP2 with some clinically clinical associate association impacts so in example the clean var here is the clean var is telling you about the clinical variation and the clinical association you can also click in NCPI Variation Viewer. Here is the Variation Viewer, which will get again, like the previous, we saw the structure on FOXP2 genes. This Variation Viewer will give you a similar graphical view. And uh, then again, I talk, uh, talked about variation and relation to different population. And for example, if you have a look at this genome browser, it will tell you uh, information about variants in uh, FOXP2 that have been identified and the frequency of those variation uh, across different population group. Uh, thank you for watching. In the next video, we'll uh, sink uh, deeply in the FOXP2 gene. Goodbye.